Hello ladies and gentlemen, Keaton here and welcome to Sorcerer King. This is a 4x turn-based RPG in early access developed by Stardock. Uh, they are known for other 4x games such as the uh, Fallen Enchantress and and Galactic Civilization series, I believe is the proper title. Anyway, uh, before I start, I should say that I am not very familiar with Forex games, which by the way, who anyone else who is not familiar with a Forex game, uh, a Forex game, it stands for something. <laughs> I always forget what it stands for, but essentially if you've ever played like a Sid Meier's Civilization game, I do believe that's a 4x game. So where you, you start with one like town and then you build outwards, you expand and you explore. Those are two of the of the X's in 4x, but again, I can't remem remember the rest. Anyway, I've played about an hour of this just to get the gist of what a 4x is about and what this game is about. And uh, basically that's that's a good way to start so we're gonna start a new game um, this is beta 3 so they've added a few new uh, a couple of new I don't need I, the three three new uh, classes to the game and I think I'm gonna be playing one of them which is commander and uh, I guess we'll change the name here can I change the name nope I guess just Martin is our name all right whatever it's fine uh, so we're, this is these are the starting units uh, it's a again it's a turn-based mixed with a forex game so you're gonna be doing turn-based combat uh on a, you know, you'll see let's just start i'm gonna be playing on beginner because again i'm new to the game i don't exactly know too much about it and as you'll see in a second here as the game loads up one second loading boop 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 boop, boop loading Loading the game. All right, so uh, they give you a nice little welcome here Breaking down what Sorcerer King is about and basically what Sorcerer King is is it's pretty much a 4x But as they put it an asymmetrical 4x So you are essentially fighting one superpower called the Sorcerer King and basically you need to build up your your little town or your little city and then de Defeat the Sorcerer King. We're gonna skip it uh, we'll just leave it at that. Now the Doomsday Counter. The Doomsday Counter is very interesting because that pretty much keeps track of when the Sorcerer King will unleash his attack. I have not reached that point yet, but uh, maybe we'll get close to it this time around. Alright, so let's get some uh, loot. There is crafting in this game, so you get little items. Go to your crafting menu and as you collect lovely bountiful loot you can turn it into different armors and potions and scrolls to uh, aid you in combat now again this is very turn based so every time i move it takes a turn uh anything beyond one turn as you can see is going to require me to uh advance the game so this is the 4x portion of the game where you're moving around the overworld map i zoom out oh too much so there's a pylon down there. Ooh, that is actually a very good spawn. By the way, I need to build this up. Uh, shards are very important. You need to gain, I think, was it 12 shards? Something like that. Uh, also going to start an action for my city. I'm going to build a pioneer immediately. Or work on a pioneer pioneer, pioneer so I can s immediately expand. I, again, I spent an hour playing this just to get the grasp of it. And it took me about an hour to realize I need a pioneer in order to expand. So I'm going to get on that immediately. Um, all right, so what do we have down here? We have a clay pit so I can get some clay uh, And we have a abandoned village. I want to go for this shard. So it's gonna take two turns. So you're gonna move there uh, So far at least in beginner these like this is a bandit camp here This is where we, we can fight the bandits take their camp and get some loot um, As far as I can tell at least on beginner mode uh, enemies do not advance in your position I don't know if it's harder or if they move on harder difficulties, but uh, nonetheless, let's advance. I haven't chosen a spell yet. Um, these spells, I don't exactly know how to use them yet, but uh, I guess we'll, uh, well, let's see what we can get here. Um, okay, so yeah, there is a ton of things here. These these are actually much different from the, uh, the spells I got the last time. Um... You know, we'll just go with confusion and be done with it. I don't know how to use them and uh, yeah, okay. So advance my turn. All right, 
so I advanced my turn. And now let's check out the abandoned village. Alright, so there are these little text quests that uh, give, you an, give you an idea of the narrative. And uh, they're actually pretty funny sometimes, so let's, let's see what this one is. Something evil has happened here. You find body after body all brutally murdered. In the center of the village, you find a lone man sitting by himself in the middle of the road. <clears throat> Excuse me. You cautiously, you cautiously, cautiously approach and ask what happened. He says that the the mayor of the town. He says he was the mayor of the town, but that he doesn't know what happened. He woke up that very morning, sitting in the center of the road, covered in blood. Everyone around him dead. All right. <laughs> so we can leave him be. We can arrest him. We can give him a job. Give him a job. One where he works alone. <laughs> <laughs> so again, very uh, very funny humor. I like that you can give him a job, but then you can you can remember. Wait, this guy seems to have taken out an entire town on his own. Maybe we should get him a job, but where he works alone. Now I don't know what the difference is going to be. I assume if we give him a job, he's going to join the party. But I'm afraid he's going to go berserk and attack my my teammates. So uh, let's try and give him a job where he works alone. What does that give us? It gives us a scout anyway. You carefully check the man for weapons, and uh, then tell him you can think of a solution to his work. Yeah, to his woes, sorry. Uh, okay, so I guess never he joined our party anyway. By the way, this is the party. We got, uh, you know, we got the Slayer, uh, Maya, uh, okay, she, okay, Ben, and the Scout. So those are going to be characters that we can... Okay, how do I... Uh... Aha, okay, so we need to expand this way in order to get this shard built. So that will be the first thing our Pioneer gets in uh, six turns, I believe. That text is really small. Okay, so there's a lost library there. We're going to go for the chest, get more loot. All right, we can craft things now. We can craft some chain boots, which will give us a plus three to defense. So let's craft that. And I'm actually going to put that on my uh, mage, which is Maya. Uh, because Maya has very little health, obviously, because she's a mage. But, you know, that really makes her an easy target for, like, uh, the, the archers. Okay, so, uh, oop. Oh, why can't I move? Hello? Oh, I need to advance the turn. All right, advancing turn. Now we can move to the library. The Lost Library of Magi seems rather, seems rather a lot stinkier than most of them uh, they have they all have a smell of um, motoring scrolls of course but this one seems different <sighs> feedier the uh, librarian explains that a uh, that a refugee fleeing from the sorcerer king's wars has taken advantage of the library's open doors open doors policy and is now living there she has sympathy for him of course but this is a place of scholarship and she asks for your help huh we can kick him out, we can give him a job, or ignore her. Came for a scroll and nothing more. Okay, so, uh... Hmm. He's fleeing the sorcerer's, uh... The sorcerer king. Let's give him a job. We got minus three to the doomsday counter. And another, another scout. He made the stench... <laughs> you wade into the stench of the library, finding the man and crouching down beside him. I can offer you a home, you explain. But perhaps a really... It's a really light tent and a job that comes with it. <laughs> the man seems interested. All right. So the doomsday counter... I don't necessarily know how it works, but you get plus and minus to the doomsday counter. I guess what that means is the doomsday counter can... Proceed and then reseed. I don't know, but uh, yeah. Again, I haven't played long enough to see what the Doomsday Counter actually does. So uh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go to this camp, another abandoned camp. You find another abandoned village. Uh, a sad reminder of the toll that has taken that the war has taken on these lands. The village hasn't been given up on entirely. However, a small group of healthy and earnest settlers visible in the town square are visible in Times Square. Uh, you forcefully insert yourself into their conversation and find out that they're planning on resetting the area. Resettling the area. Recruit one of the settlers to settle somewhere else. Recruit one of the settlers to help manage one of your cities. Or leave them alone. They're doing important work without you. 
Uh, hmm. Well, I kind of want to expand this way, and I don't know if I wanted a, a settlement just exactly over there, so... Uh... And it would mean that I have a pioneer. Actually, what's the difference between a settler and a pioneer? Is there even a difference? I don't know. Uh, let's recruit one. Okay, so a settler is a pioneer. Oh, I didn't even read the thing. Okay, so we're gonna go back. Oh, I'm gonna go back. Oh, gotta advance the turn. My bad. Now we can go back. Gonna settle right here. Okay, we can settle here. Or not. Just advance. Again, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference. I don't think anything seems to really come this way. All right, so let's put the settler. Oh, I can't settle here. What? Too close. Uh, okay. How far away can I be? So that this... Oh, my bad. Move the pioneer. Advance. Ah, move. Why aren't you moving? Oh, wait. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? What is this? Did I break the game? What happened? Why isn't the settler moving? Ah, uh, what's going on? Okay. Still too close. Well, why don't we move there? Oh, still too close. Uh, must provide on towers that provide food. Okay. Huh. Never ran into this issue before. We're gonna go this way. And uh, get that. Goody goods. Okay. Leveling up. Gonna go leadership because I want to try and get a knight, but uh, I mean, there are so many options here. Like, <laughs> really, like, this This is a lot of replayability here. Um, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go leadership. Try and get some knights. Although I need to find uh, some kind of meadow to, um, to actually build knights. All right, more loot. What else can we craft here? More chain boots. I guess we'll craft more chain boots. Why not? Hmm, we'll put them on Ben. Ben is very weak as well. Ben is like a big dog monster thingy. All right. Is this far enough? This is not far enough. This is really weird. Huh. I wonder if I go to the, the camp. Okay, we're probably gonna get into. Oh, never mind. That place was cleared. Huh. Okay. Well, we're gonna go for those guys in the next turn. I'm gonna move these these guys up. Advance the turn. Whoa. Okay. We got another pioneer. It took us so long. Let's do this. Ah. Okay. Still too close. Huh. Do I need to advance this? Because I know that I advanced this a bit before I started going outward. Uh, so you can build different things that give you additions to uh, your resources. So maybe that's what I need to do. Uh, now let's start building a garden then. Uh, I'm doing this backwards. I started building things for the city before I started advancing outwards. So maybe I'm trying to do too much too quickly for my, uh, you know, what is that? Abandoned village up there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's just advance. Or not. Advance. Do I need to move this pioneer? Really? Is that how this works? What? What do you want from me, game? Game. I just wanna... What? Okay, I never ran into so many weird issues. Just trying to advance my game. Can they get the, get the loot? Oh, they got the loot, so that's cool. What's up here? Okay, you know what? Well, maybe we'll go up here. Maybe this is easier. Nope. Gotta move this one. Okay, game. Really confusing the hell out of me. How the hell... Uh, is this not food land? This is a weird way to say that. Hey, new spell discovered. Confusion. That's the, that's the thing we just... Okay. Uh... Maybe summon ship to go across the water? I don't know, man. Why not? Gain experience quicker. Um, okay, who else do I need to move then? Just want to move upwards and fight things and destroy them. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, guess we'll move them back down. 
Uh, move this one here. Seriously, I can't build here? Ah, what was it? Four tiles away? Oh. Huh. Try that next. And then this. What? What are you doing? What? What do you want from me? Oh, you are annoying me so much, game. There, is that good enough? Can I now advance? There we go. Okay, so we're finally going to get to a battle. And this is the turn base bit. Alright, so... Wow, everyone is really spread out here. So this is my mage. Uh, who's first? Okay. Okay, I'm going to summon the, uh, the... I'm going to call my wolf. Because the wolf is going to give me a buff. That I can use next turn. Uh... I've never had scouts before. Scouts can't really do much, but f escape the battlefield. All right. So we got a wolf on their side. He, he's definitely buffed uh, the what is that? Four scout? No, two scouts and uh, two scouts and uh, and two archers. All right. Let's uh go attack these guys. I haven't gotten down the turn base bits yet, so I'm probably gonna be playing really really poorly. But uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god, it's three on two right now. And I lost the scout already. Ah. Uh, Alright, Ben. Uh this is bad. Guess maybe I'll group everyone up together first. This guy's gonna die. Uh and uh pass the turn to the mage. Uh blessing. Yes, blessing is what I want to use. All right. I don't remember what that does, but it does something good. <laughs> okay, how? Yes, increase the attack for my entire party. There we go. Who, who got hit? Oh, yep, my mage is getting hit. Okay, this is... Yeah, he's gonna die. Okay. So, once... Once, uh... Whatever the Slayer actually levels up, She's actually pretty, pretty good. She gets like a whole bunch of stop attacks. It's great. All right. Uh, yeah, this is bad. Uh, I'm gonna. Can I move? Let's move here. <laughs> Run away a little. Whack the thing. Okay. So if they attack, then. Okay. Well, he's dead. Oh, nice. He dodged. Thank God. Okay. Let's. Uh. What can I do here? They're all just crammed up in there. Um. Let's just have this thing go after the archers. It's the wolf, the dire wolf, you know, doesn't really, doesn't really matter. Uh, can't really do much, so, uh, skip. And, uh, I don't know, I guess Ben will go for moral support. <laughs> can't really do much. It's kind of in an awkward position. Alright, pass. Alright, now I need to heal myself. Because those archers are definitely going to be attacking me over and over again. Need to keep uh keep Maya healed. All right. Uh ah, it's my turn. All right. Well, this is going to be awkward. This will just attack him. Oh, nice. Ben attacked there. Cool. He's going to die though, unless I move him. Run. Yes. Okay. Uh, use a potion. There we go. All right, dire wolf. Sick him, boy. Yeah. Again, they go for my mage. Now he's gonna go for my mage. Missed. Yeah, that's what you get for trying to shoot through trees, son. Oh, really? You just attacked me? Do you not see the amazing thing I'm writing right now, sir? Oh, you dodged, you little punk. Backswing. Yeah, yo. That's what you get. Okay. Well, I guess we'll go and advance. Wow, Ben can cover the entire freaking area. All right, Ben. Go help out the dire wolf. Or not. There we go. <laughs> Screw you, buddy. All right. Uh, just to be safe. Gonna heal myself again. Whee! All right. Um... Now, I could move her up and use, like, a AoE heal to heal everyone, but everyone is holding their ground pretty well, so... 
no need to really get too crazy with with the mage. It's better she hold uh, hold the fort at the back. Then this guy's dead anyway. Yeah, yo. All right, so we got some loot, got some experience. All right. So the settlement has now been destroyed, and there's uh this ancient tomb here. Cool. All right, let's get the loot. Nice. What can we craft? Leather gloves, some healing potion, and a mana potion. That'll be good. All right. Let's craft them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, okay. Leather gloves. Uh, again, probably gonna put them on the uh, mage. Scout's probably a lost cause at this point. All right. One of, is one, are you, are any of you, oh my god. So this is just an annoying spot. I can't really build anywhere, it seems. And this is too close to my original sentiment. Ah, <sighs> where can I go with these guys? Can I go to the... Nope, gotta wait a turn. Okay. Uh, let's just go. All oh, right, yes. So, Pounce. We're gonna get Pounce. Pounce is the first one we want to get. It stuns enemies when... She she drops drops on an area. She was out an AOE, it uh and it uh you know causes uh people to, to the enemy to be stunned. But we're gonna get pounce so that we can get thunder strike, which is a great AOE attack. All right. Uh. Okay, advance there. Can I just? Nope. Gotta move these guys around. I regret building you guys. I did not know that I would get a pioneer so early. Why don't you go to the the water and just bask in its beautifulness? Okay, Doomsday Connor is going up. Okay. Oopsies. I like I double advanced there. All right, so uh, I get to level up my my area here. Uh, don't exactly know what it does. I think. Oh, I think what it does is it gives you more resources but uh, yeah uh, you find the entrance to a tomb and descend within it stunned at how uh, eloquent it is so oh, opulent it is eloquent hello just inserting my own writing edits here <laughs> this obviously belonged to a, wi a very wealthy dynasty a family that placed a great stock in pro proving they were better than everyone else even in death everything is and encrusted in gold, except for the gold, <laughs> which is encrusted with jewels. It's almost tacky, really. Find the most expectant, expensive looking artifact. Leave without taking any any of this trash. Take nothing but read everything. Hmm. So I guess we can gain intelligence or gain loot. Let's gain intelligence. Aha, plus 70 lore. Uh, these people obviously thought highly of themselves and left many books behind, encrusted in jewels, yes, but also, <laughs> but also encrusted in knowledge. You learned quite a bit about uh, an earlier, uh, v what? Oh, Vayner era of magic. Okay, so we got a new spell. All right, um, let's go heal. Again, I don't think I've used any of these spells. Oh, wow, I learned that one immediately. Okay. Huh. Okay, then. <laughs> Divine protection sounds good. Uh... Did I just... Did I just do something... Was that all the lore I got? Is that why I'm getting so much, so many spells? What is going on? <laughs> Either that or I glitched the game somehow. Okay. A uh, player can build a road on any tile via the spellbook. Huh. I see. Maybe I'll try that. Oh, okay. Well, now it's done. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, I don't exactly know how to use everything here. Ah, spellbook. Here we go. 20... This spell requires 55 lore to unlock, and you have completed 8. Okay. Right. So that's the one we are currently building towards. Still building our garden. Thingy's still there. Okay. 
an, an abandoned village. We'll go there on the next turn. Um, so I'm going to put this person... Oh. Okay, nope, that's abandoned camp. Not going there. Uh, how about we go back home? And, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see if we can get... Oh, nope, nope, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Excuse me. I want to put that one there. Let's move over to this abandoned village. And, uh, skip ahead. Or not. There we go. Okay. You enter this village uh, to find a street strewn with bodies. Strangely, none of them have wounds or display any signs of violence. Uh, many do have a greenish residue around their mouth, ew, and noses, however. On the edge of the town, you find a survivor just uh, clinging to life, too far gone to speak. He struggles, mainly to crawl mightily, <laughs> mightily to crawl down the road before finally collapsing. You, uh, you look down the road, seeing something in the distance. Foul play? I want to know more. Plague! It's a plague! Run! Someone else can gumshoe through this. We're leaving. Amateurs, liquor before beer. You're in the clear. Let's keep moving, men. Huh. Well, it could possibly be a, be a plague. I wouldn't doubt it. They're all greenish. I mean, they have greenish residue around their mouths and nose. Seems like a plague. We'll run. You and your men waste no time and are soon back on the road, plague free. Plus two to the doomsday counter, plus one to cowardice. Well, excuse me for trying to stay healthy. Wow, what is that? A warlock's army. I'm pretty sure that thing will destroy me if I go near it. Okay. I wanna. What is this? It's an oasis. I'm gonna destroy these guys. They're way too close, man. Alright, where's the other. Nope, 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 nope. Go there. You want to go there. Okay. Where's my other settler? Did it die? Hello? Oh, nope, there they are. Hiding in the trees. Going to the exact same spot. Man, this is weird. Four tiles away. I guess I should expand this way then. After I kill these guys. Alright, next battle. Already with the house. What do we got? Okay. This is pretty much the same setup as before. Alright, uh... Let's do a pounce. Stun these guys. There we go. Oops! That was a mistake, but nonetheless, beat up on the wolf. Uh-oh. Bad idea, bad idea. Bad place to be. Oh! Backswing, there we go. Okay, Ben. Gonna need some help here. Uh, let's take out the wolf. Yeah. Attack, or not. Attack, there we go. Dodged. What? Nonsense. All right. I'm gonna support my team. Run over. I think this should do. Not that they... Oh, nope. Healed everyone but the guy that I wanted to heal. Should prob probably put a protection spell on him or something. Um... Seriously, kill the wolf, damn it. What the frick is with this wolf, man? There we go. Backswing. Alright. Gotta get this freaking guy out of here. Run! <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna get pelted with arrows. Uh, Take a healing potion. There we go. Oh no, Ben! Stop it, man! What is with y'all? Uh, We're gonna attack this guy. That's right, he better have died. Imagine dodging four guys attacking you at once, Jesus. Okay, so I need a cooldown on ten turns, damn it. It's gonna refresh Ben. He should be okay, the scout should be okay. Alright. Uh, let's go attack this guy. Uh, you're not dead yet? Uh, go kill him. There we go. Oh, no way! These guys are really good at being evasive, man. Oh, he's dead. Oh, nice. He dodged. Dodge again. No! Uh, well, there go the scouts. Oh, my God. 
I didn't call a wolf in. I should have called the wolf in. Damn it, I forgot about the wolf. Never forget about your wolf. Okay, Ben, just kill him. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Uh, anyone need a refresh? No. We're gonna get, get a divine shield going. Takes a takes a turn to cast. In the meantime, we're gonna do howl. Give everyone a boost to their attack. And then we're not gonna pounce because I need to cool it down. I'm gonna run on down here and uh, punch this guy in the face. S screw you, Archer. You can zoom in there. By the way, I, I haven't mentioned it yet, but I really like, really like the art style. It's very uh, torchlight esque. It's, 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 I like the stylized look as opposed to like you know the more realistic. Uh, nice, he dodged it. Love you, Ben. All right, Ben, get your revenge. As opposed to like a realistic uh, fantasy sort of look, you know. Nice. All right, got some loots, and uh. Yeah, love it up more. Sweet. So this is the basic gist of the game. Uh, again, is the the forex concept of uh, building your world, not your world, your your cities, expanding your territory to you know uh, advance uh, further. Uh, you know, constantly trying to build yourself up before doomsday happens and the uh, sorcerer king comes and kills you. Uh, speaking of sorcerer king. We haven't had a, a moment yet, but eventually there's a random event where the uh, the the Sorcerer King will actually offer you things. I haven't taken one of the offers yet because I'm playing as like a a guy who's you know trying not to <laughs> aside with the uh, the bad guys. I'm still not okay. I don't understand. <sighs> Maybe it's Outpost I'm looking for. Was it Outpost? I think Outpost was what I was looking for. I'm so dumb. Never mind. I think it was Outpost that I was looking for all this time. Not Settlement, but it's okay. Again, need to stress. Nice Thunder Strike! Again, I need to stress that I'm a complete noob at this type of game. But, uh... I will say that I am really enjoying this game. I have wanted to uh, sort of expand into, like, doing playing 4x games on my own, but, uh, I've never really had the, uh, the incentive. Alright, this is a lot of text. Okay, the village is trashed, door is blown, all, uh, uh blown off houses. Wall is covered in the dirt and vomit. <laughs> Grow. <laughs> God, what the? Why is every town we're coming across just so disgusting? It's, it's so wrong. You find a young man frantically cleaning up, he explains that he's the mayor's son. And that all the adults left the village for the weekend, and that he and his friends had thrown a party. And things had gotten a little out of control. The mayor's son, you say? All the adults left? You shake your head. That doesn't make any sense at all. He begs you to help him uh, conceal his mistake. What do you do? Huh. Well, I'm gonna offer to sneak him out. Basically because we need units, and also... Come on, he just totally screwed up. Oh, what? Lecherous son. Huh. There's no way you could feasibly ex uh, repair, repair the whole village before the adults get back. Uh, I can offer you a new life on the road. It will be like joining the circus, <laughs> you say, throwing your arm over his shoulder. Only more dangerous. Alright, I've never had a lecherous son uh, on the team. But, uh, all right. Let's get the loots. Nice. What is this? Metal. Nice. This is what we need. Okay. Uh, move here. Outpost. This should allow us a bit of mine here to harvest. Okay, maybe not. Ah. This person, come on now. Okay. Um... Guess we'll continue outward. We'll go here. Bandit Archer Camp. Alright. Advance the turn. Battle! Here we go. Dang, they really haven't been varying up the uh, enemies here. It's okay, I guess. Well, we got Thunder Strike! I can't hit them both. Can I? No. 
Might as well go for these guys. Boom! Nice! One-shotted. Like a boss. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get the Divine Shield going. Now. And, uh... Let's get, uh... Let's get Ben up. I don't think the archers are gonna go after Ben. Oh, the Lecherous Sun doesn't fight. I just noticed. Or he died immediately. Okay, uh, pass. Okay, yeah, that's gonna happen a lot. Gonna have to put the Divine on her. Uh, alright. Gonna have to waste a turn to call the Wolf in? Actually, I don't even need to. That was kind of a bad idea. I guess we'll howl anyway. Okay. So, Maya, I'm gonna be able to, uh... Nope, it's Ben next. Don't... No, wait. Yeah, there we go. So, I put the Divine Shield on Maya, so she should be safe for a few turns. Uh, okay, Ben. Go attack the Archer, Ben. Oh, nice! Ben is a powerhouse. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just run over here and pop this guy in the face. Boop! And he dodged! Get him on the back swing. That's why. That's right. That's how we do. All right. One on one wolf battle. It's like a Pokemon fight. Oh, wait. Trainer intervenes. Trainer smashes. Wolf. Screw you, wolf. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Woo. Oh, yeah. Salute the settlement. Yeah, y'all. Got more loots. Okay. So. Oops. I think... No, it doesn't. Need one logistics to build this. Okay. Need to get more logistics. Building my barracks still. Okay. Alright, so... Yeah, we've been going for quite a while. This is sort of the gist of, um... Ooh. It's like New World. No, never mind. Just a... <laughs> just a hill. This is pretty much the basics of, um, Sorcerer King. Again, if you've ever, uh, played this type of game before, or the Forex type of game before, you probably know uh, exactly what it's all about. You know, it's building the city, advancing it, and then expanding outwards. Obviously, in this case, you're not fighting, like, areas similar to you. You're fighting one huge superpower, which is... Like, advertise as quite a difference, um, so I guess that's quite a significant change from the usual 4X game, um, but this, uh, this also adds in the whole turn-based RPG combat mechanic, which I think kind of appeals to me more because it's much more than just a point-and-click uh, micromanagement game. It also allows you the ability to actually play a tactical game while you're, you know, continuing, continuing to advance your own world, so I like the mishmash. Um, I'm probably gonna play more of it in my in my free time. Um, might do more videos on it if uh, people want me to. But this is beta three. I might look at beta four when that comes out. Who knows? But I, I am really digging this game. I think it, as someone who has never played a four X game, I feel like this is a great introduction into it because it's not a pure four X game. But you know, it's got the elements of the four X genre, subgenre, whatever it really is. But uh, uh yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I would say probably one of the major downsides to this game, other than the fact that it doesn't have a tutorial, but it is on their roadmap, so it'll eventually have a tutorial. Um, the the major downside I would say is this is an early access game that's about forty dollars I think right now, and uh, that's a pretty steep asking price for us uh, for a early access game. But I guess you know that helps them make sure that the people uh, providing feedback to the game are, you know, serious about it. Nonetheless, $40 might be a bit, a bit steep for an early access game for most people, but uh, if you're looking for a 4X game with a twist, I guess you wouldn't really go wrong with this game. It seems to be very competent. As far as I can tell, it's, it's a 4X game, <laughs> but again, I'm no expert. Yeah, <laughs> I really wish, I really wish I could convey a better message here. But again, I'm a 4X noob, so uh, you know anyone can feel free to school me in uh, whether or not this is a legitimate 4X. And you know, 
teach me something yo anyway yeah I th we're gonna leave it there for now i hope you guys uh enjoyed a little different first impressions i actually had to do quite a bit of research just to get to this point of knowledge which isn't much compare comparably to everything else that is in this game so you know <laughs> this will probably keep you busy for a while i guess i'll leave it at that um anyway if you would like to purchase it yourself link to it is in this in the description below once again it is an early access but uh it seems pretty full right now so uh, you know you're not playing an incomplete game as far as i can tell uh but uh yeah again approach with caution it is 40 dollars, so it is pretty steep so you know once again just a forewarning but nonetheless if if anything you saw here interested you highly recommend you guys check it out i'm enjoying it you might too depending on you know your tastes of course but anyway yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye